oats, simple oats, are able to detoxify forever chemicals known as PFAS? But the study used oats. The beta-glucans, which is, by the way, a fermentable type of uh, fiber, they were they actually caused excretion of the forever chemicals, PFAS, in animals, which is something that n doesn't happen. Yeah, she was citing a mouse study, and don't worry, we have a human study we're going to get to in a bit, and also another human study that she says makes her think that this does apply to humans because this study here used a drug that works in the same way. It sequesters bile acids and helps remove them from the body, and we detoxify PFAS from the liver into bile acids. And that study found that one level of PFAS, PFOS, even lowered by 60% over three months, which is huge. But do we actually have any human studies on beta-glucans and PFAS? Well, I don't think that Rhonda had seen this when she filmed that, but we have a 2025 human study out of Canada on this. And they also gave people oat beta-glucans and found that they dropped their PFAS levels as well. So yeah, oats are incredible. And these fibers that help remove PFAS also paint a picture of why vegans seem to have lower levels of PFAS from this study in addition to how meat is also a source of PFAS exposure. So oat me up, that's what Rhonda is doing too. So I've actually been adding a lot of um, oats. In fact, I had some oatmeal this morning. 